Wealth is a mindset. If it was easy, everyone would be a billionaire. They aren't. They aren't. In this house, we do the work, do the work and are wildly resourced as a result. Welcome to House of Wealth. Welcome to House of Wealth. It's time to actualize your destiny. I'm gonna live in freedom. talk about how we get derailed by things in our businesses and how we allow other people outside scenarios and situations to hijack our minds, our intentions, our progress, our purpose. And I know it's so easy to, when life happens, to go, oh, well, life happened. And to get caught up in the emotion of something or the frustration of something or the betrayal of something or the anger of something. Um, And human nature is to look outwardly at all the reasons why we didn't stay the course, why we didn't fulfill our mission, why we didn't mind our mind. But the reality is that short of your house lighting on fire, right? (laughs) And the physical space that you're in or, you know, a flash flood or an earthquake or a tsunami or, you know, some form of natural disaster that actually displaces you from your home or from your workplace or from the place where you are able to actually, you know, and the reality of that even is I've seen people committed to and delivering their purpose work, even in those types of scenarios and situations, (laughs) but short of a natural disaster happening, There is nobody outside you that has the ability to derail you. That is a choice that you make to allow that to happen. And I think that probably the most insidious of this is other people. Whether it's they, they did something that you perceive prevented you from being able to do the thing that you said you were going to do. Or you're just not able to work with them in a co-working or a co, you know, a co-working environment. You're like, there's that one person that you're like, I just don't like them. I don't get along with them. There's a personality issue. Like, I just can't work with that person. Right. Or you perceive that somebody has betrayed your trust or betrayed you in some way. And you allow that to impact you and affect you doing and sharing your mission and the thing that you, that you're here to share. There's these fingers, right? We point these fingers outward. Oh, it was this, it was that, it was this person. It's this person. But the reality is it's you. It's always you. So here's the good and the bad news of that. The bad news is, is that if you are not exactly where you want to be in your life right now, you have no one to blame but yourself. This is part of the reason why we don't like to look at this because ultimately we have to be completely self-accountable and self-responsible for the lack of our success. And we don't, as human beings, we don't want to do that. We don't want to be like, oh, I don't have as much money in my bank account as I would like. That's my fault. Oh, I haven't hit that rank in my network marketing company. That's my fault. Oh, I didn't sign, you know, I didn't bring in that number of clients. That's my fault. Oh, what, you know, like we have to be radically responsible for the results that we have in our lives. So 
the good news is, is that if you're here and you're in this space and you're in my world, I know that you're at least willing to take radical self-accountability for your actions. You are doing better than probably 80% of the people on this planet because the majority of people won't even get to that place where they're willing to conceive or conceptualize or be open to the idea that it's all their fault. They just simply won't look at it because they're too busy projecting out onto everyone else. So you're already ahead of the game. That's the good news, right? Part of the good news. The best news about it all being you is that it's 100% in your control. You are literally your own guarantee. Anything that's not right as rain in your life, anything that is not sitting in a place of excellence, you have the ability to shift. And it is 100% you. It's not me. It's not your neighbor. It's not your spouse. It's not your significant other. It's not your child. It's not the universe, right? It's you. Through your commitment, through your dedication, through your actions, through your mastery of your mind, you get to create whatever reality you desire to create. You've been saying this for so long. You create your own reality. You create your own reality. You create your own reality. And I cannot tell you how many times a partner or a significant other or somebody has thrown that back in my face when things weren't going right or we were in a fight or whatever. It's like, oh, really, Leah? Will you create your own reality? And I'm like, you're right. I do. And I did. And in that moment, you get to choose. Do I de- Am I deciding to continue this current reality or am I going to shift? And we're not perfect at this, right? Like, there's never going to be a day that you don't project onto someone, some place, some situation. Like, that's just not... Like, we never... We don't live life ever 100% owning our part in every single scenario and situation in our life. That's just not... It's not realistic. And that's not the point. The point is that... You anchor this belief deeply enough in yourself that when things aren't going your way, after you're done having your pity party about whatever so-and-so did to you or whatever, you know, situation that you believed was beyond your control that impacted you, once you get past that human emotional part, you get to say, okay, that's my reality right now in this moment, but what do I want my reality to be in the next minute, in the next hour? in the next day, in the next week, in the next month, in the next year. The reality of your past, even even your present, the reality of your present does not define you. Because the beauty of this human life is that you get to change your mind. You get to shift your directory. Your directory. You get to shift your trajectory. I had to take a lot of meds for my headache last night, you guys. I feel like my my brain's not like quite firing on all the synapses at the moment. Um, You get to change. You get to change your directory as well. You get to change your directory of the people that you choose to associate with in your life. So maybe that was what I meant to say. You get to change your directory and you get to change your trajectory. (laughs) So you get to change your trajectory, right? And what a gift. What a gift to be able to say, this moment right now fucking sucks. I'm miserable and I don't want to be here anymore. But I don't have to stay here. I get to do something different in the next minute of my life. I get to be a whole entirely different person if I'm fully energetically committed to doing that. The reality of your present doesn't define you. The reality of your past doesn't define you. The mistakes of your present do not define you. The mistakes of your past do not define you. The identities that you have. My current identity is patient dog owner. Patient dog owner. 
That's what I'm choosing in this moment. <laughs> I'm choosing to be a better version of myself that doesn't yell at my dogs for barking at the gardener every yeah. single morning like they've never seen him before. The identities, let's get this out. <laughs> the identities that you have chosen to anchor into your current, le- current reality that, I've, that you have chosen. So identities are like our armor, right? It's like this thing that we've chosen to put on. Or this thing that we've chosen to keep on, because I do believe that a lot of the identities that we hold were put onto us by our parents or by our loved ones, the people that raised us, right? Our educational institutions and organizations, our church sometimes, um, our friends, our neighbors, our parents, our grandparents, our great-grandparents, right? Like sometimes the identity that we choose to anchor and we choose to hold on to is something that was put on us. But even those identities are a choice because once you identify that it is an identity, you get to choose to take that off. You don't have to carry that. You don't have to be that person. And this is the same as what I said, as your present reality doesn't have to define you. Your present identity doesn't have to define you. Your present identity does not need to be carried into the next moment. You get to choose at any moment you know what? That's actually not me. and Or that's not who I want to be. Maybe that's who I've spent my whole entire life molding myself into up until this moment. But I don't really like that person. And I'm not really happy as that person. And, and I'm not, that identity doesn't really serve me. And it doesn't help me achieve and reach the highest expression of who I came here to be. And you get to lay it down. So if you think of these as identity like if you think of these identities as armor i think it's really helpful because what they actually are is something that we choose to don to protect these like precious vulnerable souls that we're carrying around right like it's like we want to protect this light that's inside of us and so we put these we put this armor on And if you start to think of the identities like armor, just like armor, like that shit's heavy, right? It's hard to carry it around all the time. And some of us are carrying 15 suits of armor of realities and identities and versions of ourselves that we don't like, that we don't want to be. And it's just all it's doing is weighing us down. But just like you've put it on, you can take it off. And the other piece of it, I think, that's important to know and understand is that sometimes those identities serve us. But we mistakenly think that we have to carry it it, carry it 24-7, 365. Just because you need to be somebody in the carpool pickup lane, because that's appropriate in that specific interaction doesn't mean that you need to be that person all the other hours of the day, 365 days a year. And if you only are donning the suit or the identity where it's most necessary, it's a hell of a lot easier than carrying around 15 suits of armor all the time. And that beautiful, brilliant light in you gets to shine. It's not continually dampened by parts of you or outward facades or masks or what's socially right and appropriate all the time. So I encourage you to really play around with this. Like I encourage you to look at like, what are the identities that I'm holding onto that are holding me back? Where am I choosing to wear this suit of armor that isn't serving my highest? And is the current reality and scenario and situation in your life what you want it to be? And if it's not, can you give yourself permission to change your mind in this moment? Can you give yourself permission to actually be, create, have the reality that you want? 
because you are the only one that is holding you back from that. And when in interaction with other people, when you're having that, when you're in that dynamic and it feels like they're blocking you or they're stopping you or something that they're doing is getting in the way of, you know, you being able to fully express. Can you just pause in that moment and be like, it's actually not them. It's me. And what do I need to do in this moment to get back to the reality that I'm choosing for myself? Do I need to leave this situation? Do I need to, do I need to remove myself from this situation? Do I need to like, what is it that needs to shift and change right now in this moment for me to actually create the reality that I desire to create? Because the only thing that you're doing by projecting and placing blame on people outside of yourself is giving them your power. The second that you go, this person, place, scenario, situation, did this to me or prevented me from doing this, all you're doing is giving a piece of your power to that thing. And the interesting thing about that is, is that especially people thrive on that. They will continue to be difficult in your life because energetically, whenever they're difficult in their life, you give them a little piece of your power. So you, it's not hurting them, right? It's only hurting you. So those are my thoughty thoughts for the day. All right. Well, have a beautiful rest of your day, morning, evening, sleep, wherever you are in the world. And I'll see y'all soon.